And I am going to teach you how to make a Christian post inside of that. Hello everyone, Benjamin here. I'm one of the few verified Canva experts in Africa. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make an event poster to promote any Christian event of your choice. So if you are new to this channel, I would highly recommend you subscribe. So if you are new to this channel, I would highly recommend you smash the subscribe button. So if you are new to this channel, I would highly recommend you smash on the subscribe button because this is the best channel you can learn everything you need to know about Canva. And also, if you're an OG, look. Thank you so much for showing up and I must say I really appreciate you for the continuous support. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump straight inside of Canva. Alright, so this is what we are actually going to be creating and it's very easy and very simple. The first thing I'll do is to click on the add button, okay, for a new page and then we have a blank canvas. But for you, all you need to do is to come to create a design, okay, and just choose the Instagram dimension of the Instagram post square, which is 1080 by 1080. Alright, alright. So now that we have our blank canvas, what we are going to do next is to come to element in element make sure you scroll down until you find frames or grid okay choose this okay and what you are going to do is to you know crop it this way duplicate it and also position this here right all right anytime i say all right just respond all right okay all right <laughs> lovely okay so what we have to do now is to duplicate you know this one and we'll just rotate it to maybe 40 42 okay somewhere like this is cool then i'll just increase it a little bit and i'll drag this here okay and i would want it to cover all of these empty spaces so maybe i position this here now i'd rather drop this one down and move this one maybe up okay and make sure this is covering and this is covering okay so that we have you know things looking like this so you can see if i'm to select or here's how it's supposed to look okay now the next thing you're going to do is to fill these grids with images okay so you, this is the point where i'll need you to be so creative and be so intentional about any image you choose all right okay so i will come into my uploads and in uploads i'll just search for church okay what did i just do <laughs> i rather have to go into photos okay so i'll come into photos instead and search for church okay so when i search for church i should see you know some nice images over here so this is very beautiful i can move this here okay and uh, maybe position this one like this and move this one a bit here all right so the next thing is to find another image for this grid over here okay so we can use this since they are all smiling we can't see any of the faces um so what we can rather do is to flip the images okay so we can flip it and you can see we are still not seeing much of it so i can rotate this more okay and maybe send this here okay and drop this a little bit okay then i'll maybe move this one in so you can see what we are doing then i can make it bigger so we can see their faces okay so you see how this is looking very easy and very simple all right then in the middle i'll rather search for clouds okay so clouds and i'll press enter there's so many interesting images you can choose from but i'll choose this one and i'll position it in here you can see at the moment even though we've added our pictures this is looking plain and flat and all of that and i just do not like it okay so what can we do i have this cool element in my upload so i'll just search for clip okay and i should see all of it and the interesting part of it is the element website is up again so i'll make sure to upload this um element i'm about to use before this video gets uploaded so that when you are following the tutorial you can be able to find it <laughs> all right so i'll just scroll down a little bit okay and you should find this paper tear so just search for paper tear on the element website okay and you should okay so you can see because everything on our website not on our website come on because everything on our design is a frame the least dragging you do it gets to be placed inside of it okay so you would have to move things around with your arrow key all right okay so i will just you know copy like this copy like that and copy like this okay so that we can have it this way then make it bigger and you can also with take it to 41 okay or negative something like and just make sure it's fitting nicely over here right all right 
okay then i'll drag this one out a little bit because the shadow i don't want the shadow to be cut okay and um yeah so you can see how this is looking at the moment all right you can see it's looking beautiful then we will just click and duplicate it and drop it down okay when we drop it down we'll also move it and move it up again so you can see how this is looking okay then i'll make it a bit bigger okay so that it's covering everything nicely so i'll click and um, just make sure it's positioned nicely okay so i think this is looking good so far and i love it and i know you also love it but just with some few you know arrangements we've been able to improve uh, design and that's you know everything about design sometimes you just need to do something small or something that may look insignificant and that alone can um, can cause a great change great change since i met god you know that kind of thing so what we have to do next is i'll come to element and i'll search for light okay and press enter there should be so many lights okay in here so um what we can do we can just choose for example i can choose this light over here okay and i can rotate it okay then oh not that so i'll so i'll crop it you know here and this is also cropped okay then we would maybe let's make it bigger first okay so let me just undo what i've done no okay okay so i'll just make it bigger first okay so that it covers the whole thing then we will crop it so i copy like that and i will also crop this here okay then we'll move it backwards so that it goes behind these two paper tear elements so you can click on position and choose backward backward okay so that it looks like that you understand awesome so what we have to do next is you see because the feel of these images are not the same it's making things look a bit weird so select this image come to um, edit image select adjust and search for tint okay drag it all the way you know just select the vibe you want so i want it to be reddish which is negative 83 and i'll just copy the filter code click this second image come to edit image select adjust go into the filter code and paste you can see how things are looking right now so all we have to do next is to add our text and i'll just copy one of the text over here and paste it here okay so maybe i have to reduce the size a little bit because of you know how our elements are positioned and you can see that the color is not really matching but even though it has a red vibe it's still kind of like you know matching with whatever we have so i can just say maybe praise and then maybe praise and then just put thanksgiving okay thanksgiving okay and i'll bring this one down and i can um duplicate this one as well okay so i'll duplicate this one here and i'll just see service this is service nice one so this is what we have at the moment and i can make it bigger and make sure they are all centered all right nice one so i think i like how this is looking i i really like how this is looking so what we have to do next is add the extra information we need to have on our design okay so you can see i added the various elements in the icons so i'll just copy them and um, our sample logo okay and i'll just paste it over here and this is just very easy and very simple. so just add the date and time and add the respective you know um, icons that match with it and add your logo also to your design and make sure the colors are matching with whatever you have on your text this is how i made it in canva and you can see it's so easy and so simple one thing before you go is i want to recommend canva pro to you because canva pro is one of the things that would help you have so much flexibility when you're designing in canva and to be able to use this i have the link that can help you use canva pro for free so yeah if you like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up and also if you have any questions make sure you also leave that in the comment section below i'll read your question and if it fits for a video i'll make a video about it okay just to answer you the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video